Hey y'all, Derek Clifton here, columnist for the Daily Northwestern. I am excited to be making update videos again for you this quarter and hope you've been having a great one so far. Today's column is about Lady Gaga's Judas, uh, the newest single released last Friday. And a lot of religious groups, including the Catholic League, are offended that Gaga is releasing the song so close to Easter since it has so much religious imagery related to the crucifixion of Jesus. And Gaga actually doesn't offend me as a person of faith, I don't find this video offensive and many others don't. I just see it as an interesting twist on the narrative of Mary Magdalene and Jesus and Judas as it relates to the whole story around Jesus' death and resurrection and allows us to examine uh, the narrative of betrayal that is Judas Iscariot, one of history's biggest traitors. And she twists the narrative in a way that allows us to see betrayal as it affects our own lives today, which is why I think Gaga and her creative team Admittedly, they had very, very in-depth discussions about things of faith, salvation, and searches for the truth. And I don't think it's the problem that we need to be focused on so much. We just need to enjoy the music for what it is, for the nice little beats, and also stop trying to criticize Gaga if she sounds even some way similar to something she's done in the past or maybe even something another artist has done in the past. You know, artists are entitled to have their own niche to come up with their own sound and to not have to be 100% organic with each and every new song or video they come out with. So let's just enjoy this song for what it is. Yes, it's close to Easter, but I'm sure I'm not the only one who's listened to this song 50 times since last Friday. So with that, I hope you enjoy the column and I hope I don't get struck down for writing it. Take care. Judas, 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 Judas,